when dealing with uh, whole numbers in long division, you can see that long division is not too difficult. You just have to set it up correctly. If you look at this, we're going to do f how many times does 4 go into 52? So first of all, we're just looking at this in columns here. Same thing over in this one. So we'll do this 4 into 5. We know that 4 will go into 5 one time. So there's 1. So 1 times 4 equals 4. And 5 minus 4 is 1, and we bring down the 2. So now we have 12. So 4 into 12, how many times? It goes into it 3 times. Now, this is a nice whole number because 4 times 3 equals 12. If I subtract those two, I have no remainder, so it's, the answer is 13. Now, if I increase this number just by 1, watch what happens. So we go the same route, and we say 4 into 5 goes 1 time. So then we subtract five or 4 from 5, and that's 13 this time. So we know the same thing. 4 goes into 13 three times. We go 12. Now we have remainder 1. So if we're looking at just whole numbers and no decimals, then we'd come up here and we'd say remainder 1. 13 remainder 1. If you want to do decimals, we'll get into that a little bit later, but we're just dealing with whole numbers right now.